Hey, Smuggler Jim here from the Key West Trading Company World Headquarters. Uh, I'm going to make a little quick video for uh, proper absence service. Show you guys a uh, proper way to do an absence service with all the uh, accoutrements. Um, so here we are at the World Headquarters. We're all set up here with our uh, a typical traditional absence service. Uh, this is the absinthe fountain, which contains ice water. This part of it is ice water, and it um, has these little valves on here. Uh, this way is off. This way is on. And uh, what we're trying to get, we're going to accomplish here is a slow drip. Uh, so this is a proper absinthe glass, also known as a Pontarlier. Requires no measuring devices. The glass itself does all the measuring. You can see in the bottom of the glass there's a reservoir uh, right here that holds the proper amount of absinthe, which is 0.9 ounces. Uh, and then we have a little little saucers here that uh, in the 1800s at an absinthe. Uh, house or an absinthe bar. This would be how much the drink cost in francs and then you would stack your saucers and then that would be your bar tab at the end of the night. So these are these are reproductions from the 1800s as, as so is the fountain and the glassware. Glassware also comes in different styles so uh, this is a traditional style. This is another version of it here which is a, a coupe glass uh, version of the same thing but same kind of principle right. Uh, as you can see there's these scallops that are on the glass uh, right there. That is the level in which we're going to bring the water up. As you can see, I've already got some that are already dripping here uh, to kind of speed things up a little bit. <clears throat> but let's start out by taking our death in the afternoon absinthe vert. And we're going to pour this into the glass until it crests the little circle. That is a perfect pour of absinthe. Never look at it from the side. When you pour it, you're going to look down inside the glass like this. Then we're going to take our absinthe spoon. Uh, which comes in, you know, all different varieties, thousands of different varieties. <clears throat> we're going to throw this absinthe spoon on here like this. And then we're going to take a standard sugar cube. Uh, the sugar is for taste. Absinthe, absinthe is a tincture, so the sugar is purely for taste. And then we're going to open this little valve, and we're going to go for a slow drip, like a, uh, like a leaky faucet. <clears throat> so we're going to do a little slow drip. Right there, it's pretty good a little drip. And you want to center it over the sugar cube, as you can see. Slow drip onto the sugar cube. Uh, this one back here is pretty much ready to go, so we're going to turn off the valve and then give that a good stir. As you can see, the absinthe completely changes color. This process is called a la louche. Just to give you an idea here, here's what the absinthe looks like in the bottle versus what it looks like fully louched. So once again that is a louche and you can see that we brought the water level up to this this line right here. So and these fountains uh, you could do multiple people at a time. This particular fountain itself has five heads on it. Uh, this is a balancier uh, which is for a single serving like if you're at the uh, the Saint Hotel for example here in Key West uh, you would you, you could use a balancier if you're sitting at the bar by yourself. Uh, or you can do this uh, fountain with a group of people or if you're at home by yourself and you don't have any of these things But you do have the glass and the spoon the object is to slowly pour ice water into the drink to create the louche All right, thanks for checking in with us uh, a little death in the afternoon Traditional absinthe service here at the Key West Trading Company World Headquarters, Key West, Florida